All right, so this is the first creative shot that we will be taking using the pro mode that we just learned about in the last section. So this is called as light painting. And this comes under the genre of long exposure photography because what we'll be doing here is we'll be making some shapes with a flashlight. Okay, we'll be capturing them using a longer or a slower shutter speed because now we know that we can do that using the pro mode. So this is gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna be a detailed shoot. And once I've taken these, I'll also show you how to edit these kind of shots. But first of all, let's take them. All right, welcome to this light painting shot. This is gonna be a lot of fun. So first of all, quickly, let me explain you why I have this little setup that you can see, okay? So behind, you can see if I just move my camera a bit, you can see I've got this black color muslin cloth Okay, which is just on these backdrop uh, stands that I usually, you know, you, you normally use for your studio photography purpose uh, and all for a backdrop, okay? Now, this is not 100% compulsory, but it's still recommended that you have something dark behind. And the reason for this is once we do take this shot, okay, first of all, I'm going to be switching off lights, all the lights in this room. So it's going to be completely dark, but even then, once we do finally take our shot, a good shot is the one in which that light painting effect is completely like everything else is black and you just see the light, okay? Because what happens with a phone camera, as we already seen in the last video when we were discussing about the pro mode is, the aperture is not under our control, okay? The aperture is pretty much fixed and wide open in most of the phones, okay? So you can't close down the aperture. Therefore, what happens is that once we will be using a slower shutter speed, in this case to capture the light trail, it allows in a lot of light to come and that usually brightens up the area. You're gonna get a well exposed shot. That means behind the light painting, okay, you will see the background in if you don't have anything black behind. If you have something black like this, you know, it just still appears dark because you know, it is black. So just that light painting effect stands out a bit. You don't have to do it for the first time. When you're doing it for a trial, absolutely don't you don't need the backdrop okay uh, secondly you can see i've got this uh, light stand here i'm just going to be telling you why this is going to be important so here's the thing if someone else is doing the light painting effect because what's going to happen is I'm, i'll basically be you know switching on this torch okay flashlight and then i'm just going to be drawing that shape like this okay now i have to make sure that i focus right where i'll be drawing this right now if you had one, another person who was holding it then it's not a problem because then you can just focus on their hand and then you know start the process of taking the shot now let's say you're doing this alone like how i am doing it alone right now you need to make sure that it's going to be exactly here the focus right so you need to pre-focus first and this is where the pro mode will help us apart from the shutter speed part, which obviously is gonna be important. You'll also remember the manual focus that we just saw, it's gonna help us set the manual focus at a particular point. Now, which point? So let's say I'm gonna be drawing this shape right here. So I've set up this, you can put any object here, okay? I've set up this light stand here, okay? And we're basically gonna be focusing on this first, make sure that the manual focus is coming sharp here, okay? So that, and then we're gonna remove this. And then I'm just gonna notice the area below. Okay, yes, this is where the light stand was. And then just draw exactly here. So we, because we've already logged in the focus and in manual focus, the focus is not gonna change. We're still gonna get a sharp streak of this particular thing, okay? So that is the whole point of this uh, setup. So I'm gonna to go to more, I'm gonna go over to pro mode, okay? So first thing that we're gonna do here is we're gonna set our focus to manual. So right now you can see it's manual. So just have to make sure that yes, I stop at the moment, the light stand appears to be sharp, okay? So you can see somewhere just around here, right? You can see it appears to be really, really sharp. Let me just double check this and just be sure, yeah. So you can see this right now at around 0.7, it appears to be really, really sharp. So we've got our focus done. The first part is done. Now is the part that we will take care of shutter speed and ISO. So what I want to do here is, I want a completely black shot. We're not going for a proper exposure. I'm gonna be switching off the lights also right now. So make sure your ISO is set to the least because we want a completely noise-free shot, okay? It's gonna make your image darker, that's okay. That's not a problem, okay? Because anyway, this is not about exposure. Secondly, the shutter speed part is important, okay? So the question is, 
What shutter speed do you exactly use for this shot? Let's discuss that. Now, of course, first of all, we will be using a slow shutter speed, so make sure that you are on a tripod. This shot simply cannot be taken without a tripod. The camera has to be absolutely stable for the entire duration of the shutter speed. And now the question is, what shutter speed should we be using, okay? First of all, it obviously depends on the shape that you're trying to draw. So I'm mainly just gonna be drawing like a simple heart like this, okay? So it's gonna be pretty, so, uh, let's say it's gonna take me around four seconds, three seconds, four seconds, so something like, you know, let's say it allows me two seconds, also I can do, four is also fine. I don't wanna unnecessarily, this is the main point, I don't wanna unnecessarily use something like very slow, like 10 seconds, okay? Yes, it gives me more time to draw, but the disadvantage is it will allow a lot of light to come in and that is just gonna expose the surroundings also, even if you don't have any lights on, okay? Because why? Again, I come back to the same point. Aperture is fully open. It's not under our control on phone cameras. Therefore, a lot of light is bound to enter, okay? Of course, if you're drawing something, like you're writing your whole name and it's gonna take a lot of time, then 10 seconds, you can leave it, okay? But then absolutely make sure everything is switched off. Here, I'm gonna select four seconds. Okay, I think that should be enough and I've kind of tried these shots and it worked uh, well for me. So that's pretty much it. We've got our focus. We know where to draw this, okay? And we know that, you know, we've got our shutter speed set. So what I'm gonna do right now is, I'm basically just gonna move this light stand away. I know where exactly this was. And then I'm just gonna, before I hit my, so I'm gonna press the shutter button to take the shot. And then, because you won't be able to see this when the lights go off, but basically, and obviously the moment the shot starts, I'll quickly draw like a heart like this, okay? And that is gonna give us that shot. I'll even, let's say, I'll probably try to draw the arrow between the heart also if possible, not too good at drawing. So uh, right now, all that is left is, remember our focus is manual, it's not gonna shift, so I can easily, without any worry, go on and switch off all the lights in my room and then proceed to just take this shot. So I'm gonna do that and I'll see you when the lights are off. All right, so I'm all set, the lights are off. I've got my remote also, okay, because I really don't wanna to touch the camera here. It's not 100% compulsory because anyway, if you look at the timer on the left, I have uh, just made it five seconds, so that just gives me enough of a chance to even prepare myself to start the drawing. And also, uh, you know, it's just gonna make sure that yes, there's a five second rest, uh, even if let's say you were to touch your phone and take the uh, shot if in case you don't have the remote. But basically, we're all set, I'm just, Practicing once, okay, the drawing part. I'm gonna make sure, switch on the flashlight. Okay, don't keep it in, before you start drawing, don't keep it in front of the sensor because that's just gonna add that light too much. Remember, the sensor is very sensitive, the aperture is totally open, okay? So once the shot starts, okay, that's the time you immediately start putting your hand uh, in front of the camera and you start drawing. Don't keep it there before with the light on, okay? So we're all set, I am now gonna start this shot is gonna be a four second shot after this timer starts. So to get ready, just about now. All right, and also switch off the light immediately. Now you can see, if I just show you, yes, almost got it. I think I'm just, it's coming out of the frame a bit. Uh, so that's another advantage because I'm also recording this on my own, so I'm restricted because I'm wearing a mic, so I can't go too far also. The mic is actually connected to the uh, smartphone, but let me just try this once more. This time I'll draw a smaller heart, so. I think this should be better. Let's check this shot. Yeah, now this doesn't really look like a heart because uh, what I should have done is actually should have switched off the light the moment I stopped drawing so that that leaving trail is not there. So I'm just gonna try this once more. Uh, you know, I'm a bit nervous because I'm very bad at drawing. So just one final try, otherwise the main point here is that you should just understand how this is done, okay? So one last try. This time I switched off the light, so just see, yeah, I think this is good. Yes, finally, almost, okay? So with some practice, you'll be able to get this, but the main thing here is, technically speaking, the streaks are very sharp. That's because we focused uh, 
you know, very, very well. So this is how you take light rail, uh, light painting shots, and I hope that you liked it. All right, so just before I finish this video, I actually got a slightly better shot with, you know, at least close to something what I was trying to achieve with this uh, arrow in the center. Now, this was a 10 second shot. Okay, so the earlier shots I was trying at four seconds. Now you can see here the problem that I was talking about earlier, right? That even though it was pitch dark in the room, okay? You can, at 10 seconds, you can still see the wall behind that backdrop, right? You still start to see uh, those things. So that is the only issue that, you know, you might just have these distractions a bit. But then of course, since I had more time to draw, that is the good part that I was able to draw this heart and the, this arrow properly. Now what I did after this was, I quickly just edited this shot in Snapseed just to remove these distractions, uh, which was very, very easy to do. So I did a couple of things. I removed those distractions by, you know, playing around with the exposure. I also changed the uh, framing of the shot, got the heart and everything in the center. And I just feel this looked more isolated, uh, you know, with uh, completely free of distractions. I'm, this literally just took me like 15 to 20 seconds to do in Snapseed. I just used three tools, which I'm gonna be showing you in the editing section, where again, I'll take this image uh, in front of you and I will edit it to get that distraction free image. But I hope this was a lot of fun. We will be doing some more creative shoots. So I'll see you there, bye for now.